Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Ball. I know that I'm a little bit red because I got sunburned. I took a couple of holidays and got into sun. And today in this video what we will be doing is first we will have a look at let's exchange cryptocurrency exchange which doesn't require any registration guys and I find it very interesting and useful for those people who can't create accounts on different currency exchanges and you would like to exchange one cryptocurrency to another. And second thing what we will do I will go through a Bitcoin project and will let you know what I think about Bitcoin because many of you recently you start sending me private messages even on, on Patreon you are contacting me and asking me to create more videos on what I think about Bitcoin price and where I think that Bitcoin price will be going so this is what I will also be doing in my future videos. let's start with let's exchange.io i find this cryptocurrency exchange very useful for everyone who doesn't have access to some cryptocurrency exchanges and you would like to exchange for example cryptocurrency and here in this cryptocurrency exchange it doesn't require any registration or anything like that and there is a lots of cryptocurrency exchange pairs which you can exchange from one to another as you can see here if you scroll down here you will see xmr this is monero bitcoin to ethereum ethereum to bitcoin litecoin to bitcoin bitcoin to bsv and bitcoin cash to bitcoin Z Z cash to bitcoin and many more different cryptocurrency exchange pairs guys this means you can simply come in and use this let's exchange.io very simply if you have bitcoin all you need to do is come in into this cryptocurrency exchange and here in first tab you click here and you can select from which cryptocurrency you would like to exchange for example if you would like to exchange from bitcoin to any other cryptocurrency here you are selecting in first uh, drop down what cryptocurrency you would like to exchange to another cryptocurrency like i mentioned let's say we want to exchange bitcoin or for example monero let's put monero that we want to exchange monero this means that i have monero and i would like to exchange it to ethereum guys for example as you can see here i can send 0 0.3 monero to get 0 0.025 ethereum and if i for example type here that i have one monero i would like to exchange one monero to ethereum this means that for one monero i would be receiving 0 0.09488298 ethereum this is very simple exchange you don't need to create any accounts or anything like that you simply select what cryptocurrency in first drop down you do you have in second drop down you select what cryptocurrency you would like to have or which you would like to receive and once you have done this here enter your ethereum address this means that this will be the address to where your ethereum will be sent i will not be doing like real example but i will show you how you can get for example if you have metamask like i have metamask here and i have ethereum i'm using ethereum mainnet here i simply copy my ethereum address and here i control v i enter my ethereum address and here you can enter promo code if you have and so on and so forth and you simply click exchange and in next step it will give you the opportunity to send monero to as you can see one monero you send to this address you can copy this address and send monero to this address and once you will do it you will receive your ethereum to your address which you uh, highlighted there however this doesn't really require any explanation but anyway for you guys who are new to cryptocurrency space in general at the very beginning i know that this could be a little bit complicated and all these exchanges and you could have some problems how to exchange one cryptocurrency to another but this is one of those solutions which is very straightforward and which is very easy to use guys and if you still have problems with understanding how it works you can come in into a let's exchange.io website and here click on how it works and here is everything step by step pick a currency pair and set the trade amount don't forget to add your receiving address like i already mentioned you would like to receive ethereum or monero or any other cryptocurrency you would add your address there then click on next one deposit the trade amount this means what you want to send to receive that which you have picked and next one is wait for the deposit to go through yay your exchange is done and let's exchange now everything is ready for you to trade in first drop down your entering amount which you have 
which you would like to exchange and in second drop down you are entering what cryptocurrency you would like to exchange to what you want to receive and here you straight away enter the amount of address of that second cryptocurrency because that is what you will be receiving okay guys this is about let's say exchange.io and i find that this is a very very good solution for anyone who don't want to do a kyc's and you would like to exchange it quickly to another of these cryptocurrencies which are listed here you can come in and check out let's exchange.io if you are interested there are different pairs like Lisk, then icx like icon and many others which you can exchange to and which you can receive from any other cryptocurrencies which you have and which are listed here which you can change from one to another so yes guys but now let's get into bitcoin prices this is one of most requested recently from me guys because as you know in recent videos i have made pretty precise predictions and actually when i am trading i am rather profitable in my trading but i don't recommend and why i don't create uh, trading videos why i'm not shilling like bit by bit and all bitmex and so on and so forth and binance uh, futures trading is just because guys i know that many of you are here new and many of you might be tempted by starting to trade and this is very dangerous i know by myself guys because two years when i started trading without knowledge without education i obviously knew how to use basic charts how to understand basic indicators however i didn't know how to control my emotions i didn't know what is risk management and that's why i don't want to share with you and i don't want to pull you in trading because i know guys that you 100 percent will lose money firstly if you will start trading like leverage trading like trading futures like bitmex bybit and so on and so forth you will be trading at least 20x leverage guys and this is very very dangerous especially when it comes to bitcoin market because if bitcoin price has to fall only five percent so you lose and many of you will not be using like stop losses because that is just the nature of human being being. however i will be showing you my trading also in future but i highly don't recommend anyone who has no experience and you have no knowledge in trading to get into trading guys because this is very 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 dangerous game however it looks very easy guys especially when you are starting out anyway however if you want to become a trader guys start very slowly start with maximum 2x leverage don't go much higher guys use maximum 2x leverage don't go even at 5x leverage whenever you are trading and start understanding indicators and never trade all your position whatever this means that never trade all your money in one trade because that could be dangerous if you lose you might lose like 10th part of your position but you will never lose everything so maximum 10 percent maximum 2x leverage if you go higher then uh, this is your greed guys and you will never make money if you especially if you're starting to trade uh, starting in trading guys so yes what i think about bitcoin price now we are in saturday as you know first which we should look at cme futures at what price cme futures closed as you can see cme futures closed at 37,325 and what happened straight after well, yesterday at night it was by european utc time it is two o'clock at night when cme futures markets closed at this price as you remember from those who are following me on patreon i have been telling you not once guys that most likely in sunday evening when cme futures markets will open uh, or cme will reopen at eight o'clock in the evening by chicago time guys or two o'clock by utc time then price are tending to return to this price and currently if we look at bitcoin price it's straight away pulled back to 35,000. as you see here guys 34,500. and like i was mentioning in my previous videos i don't believe that we will be going under 30,000. and i believe that starting from next week this price will start back going back up we could see some huge buys guys and i believe that bitcoin price will start mooning very very high guys and it will not be going under 30,000. just to understand that it will not be going under 30,000 is if you are checking like buy orders and if you are checking sell orders you will see that there is a huge wall of buy orders at 30,000, and i'm not talking even about 28 and 27 there is huge buy orders and i don't believe that whales are going to sell their bitcoin at these prices because they see that there is a huge buy and even 
even if we could if we would dip under 30,000 that would be very very short time and we could we would see a like v-shape recovery and price would go up and this is just what i think about price guys always remember that in markets or in trading we are trading probabilities there is obviously a risk if we for example look at monthly chart if on monthly chart by the end of the month this candle which is second candle here guys if this pulls back but if it creates like for example doji candle which is which it is doing right now as you can see here guys then this is most likely that we are going to move back and bitcoin price is going to recover however like i mentioned don't forget all indicators which we are having right now they are hugely oversold and under thirty thousand dollars there are huge buy orders and i believe that buy bitcoin price will be going back up and what i think what will happen during weekend i think that currently we did this pullback if we go back into an hour chart you can see we did this pullback 34,600 and it was bought back very fast guys so there is a huge buying pressure and there is a bulls who are ready to buy at these prices and they are buying back everything very fast and that's why i'm telling you guys that under 30,000 i doubt that we will go and on sunday evening i believe that we will return to cme futures price which is about 37300 or we would be trading now during weekend under 37000 approximately about in range of 36000 up to 37000 or around 37000 and in the sunday evening when cme futures will open then we will close this price guys so there is no gap and bitcoin price will continue up on monday tuesday wednesday and so on and so forth we will be con the bitcoin price will be continuing back upwards and like i'm always telling you guys i'm trading only probabilities and this is only what i think but this is not 100 percent so as no trader in the world can tell you or give you 100 percent that price will do this or price will do that because the, we traders we are trading probabilities and what i'm explaining you in his this video is just my probabilities as currently i see that there is more probabilities that we will go up rather than we will go down just by different things which I can see on charts, which I can see on on-chain data and which I can see in general, guys. So yes, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one.